Hola, buenas tardes. Acá Cucho, alias Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo, alias Cucho. Hace mucho calor en Google, no sé por qué. Parece que la primavera pega más fuerte acá. O estas luces que me pusieron, es tipo cama solar. Eh, estamos por comenzar el segundo hangout de esta experiencia Trimarchi Google Plus. El invitado de hoy es A.K. Conning, desde Alemania. Eh, creador y jefe del estudio de diseño Hort. Eik estuvo en Buenos Aires, en Trimarche, en Mar del Plata, mejor dicho, en el 2008, y fue una de las conferencias más aclamadas desde que Trimarche abrió sus puertas, eh, por eso decidimos que sea la segunda, el segundo Hangout, y bueno, vamos a estar charlando con él, él habla inglés, eh, nos acompaña Lules y David, ellos también hablan inglés, yo ladro en inglés, pero bueno, son cosas que pasan. Eh, por dudas, eh, preguntas, pueden hacerlas en el muro de, del Google Plus. Eh, estaría bueno que pregunten, ya que tener a este personaje acá al alcance de un video es casi súper, pero es súper exclusivo, buenísimo, Jope. Uh, well, Ake, uh, I was present to you with my uh, perfect Spanish. Now I speak with this... Uh, dog in English uh, and I want to ask you uh, what, uh, on what are you working now now today where, where is my hangout my hangout uh, is somewhere I can't find it anymore hold on uh, here oh yeah here here we are <clears throat> yeah hello everybody first um, Guten Abend, sagen wir in Deutschland. Uh, it's nine o'clock, uh, nine o'clock in the evening, and uh, I'm in the studio right now. But the studio is uh, kind of empty; only two people working here, besides me. So, welcome uh, Latin America. Uh, welcome people in I don't know Argentina and uh, Brazil. Um, thanks for inviting me. Um, working. I mean, we 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 work. At the same time, and different things um, every time. So uh, I don't really know where I should start. I mean, um, first of all, most important, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, wh wh where should I start? Um, we work for different kind of clients, like for uh, Nike Brazil. We do at the moment uh, work on football. We work for um, Livestrong at the moment. Um, then we work for uh, an architect. Uh, it's a book about an architect, a famous one in Germany. We do work for a record sleeve. Um, it's for Ken Ishii, um, a Japanese musician. Um, we work a lot for Bauhaus and for other cultural institutions like uh, Musontum, that's, uh, that's um, performance, dance, theater institute, a very famous one here in Germany, and we do most of the communication. So, so quite diverse is um, what we're doing at the moment. I mean, I can show. I mean, I can. I, no, we, we should start first the kind of a conversation. So can you show us something or you would like to? I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, maybe share some links. Uh, hold on, maybe. Um, what? I'm gonna do that. Um, or maybe. I, I, I have a question. Meanwhile. Yeah. Uh, do you? Do you often guys listen to the music where, that you're working the art, or you just like you start working and then you maybe you receive the audio and and the stuff? Oh no, we we, we um, I think we only start working if we really uh, know what kind of music it is. So the the producer, the band, or the record label always sends us the music in front to get a feeling of um, what kind of music is it. Um, so I think it's a very important part to know um, 
what kind of feeling you have to visualize, and um, that's why we, we listen to it. But we don't listen to it uh, all the time. And what is really hard is um, after, after we listen to um, a, a record uh, a couple of times, um, and we, we work on the design for it, um, the problem is the record will be out in sometimes six months or sometimes also a year. So if the record really comes out, uh, we can't hear it anymore because uh, we heard it so often. So it's not a big surprise when a new record is released um, that was designed by us. Um, we lose a little bit of this attraction of um, listening to something like a new record. So often when we get the product itself, like the record sleeve, uh, including the record, we don't even put the record on the, on the player because um, we know what it is, so we just look at it and then we say, okay, let's put it somewhere. Okay. <laughs> so, hold so what music inspires you while you work? Sorry? What music inspires you while you work? I mean, we, um, I, mean I have the biggest, you know, we have a, a you know, like, okay. Um, this is where, where, where I work, it's a huge, yes. it's like a, it's a huge um, factory, uh, oops, factory uh, space, and I work here with my assistant, and but it's everything's open, you know, like um, there, there's a huge, oops, it's not so easy. If we go here. This is like uh, the so uh, people meet, and uh, like with this stop sign here, and then if we go further, uh, this is like a, a huge room where all the designers work. For example. Hi, this is Nathan. Hola. Hi, uh, Nathan. And Hi. this is Alan. Hi. Hi. And he's hiding behind uh, his computer. So that's a that's a uh, like a big space where everyone's working, and uh, I'm a little bit. Yeah, somewhere here we have a we have a workshop room where we have like a studio and a lot of material and yeah. That's what we were. What was the, what was the question? <laughs> How many designers uh, works with you? Uh, we have seven. Seven. Seven, yeah. And. Um, for all, all over the world or from Berlin? Yeah, for example, Nathan, um, uh, Nathan is from, uh, originally from Hawaii, but he studied in the um, uh, United States. And Alan is from Canada. We have um, Adley is from Melbourne, Australia. Seraphine is from Switzerland. Um, we have uh, Sarah is from uh, South Korea. We have, at the moment, we have two uh, interns. One is from France and one is from Uni United States. And um, my assistant is from London. So we are like an international studio here. And uh, our studio language is English. OK. And how do you meet uh, them? Um, the only chance to get into uh, Hort is uh, you have to do an internship, and uh, the whole team um, grew very slowly. Like um, I was working alone for a long time, and then I got one person, and uh, then we were four, and then we are now seven plus uh, Lizzie and um, and the interns, and so you have to do an internship for six months, and during this internship we find out. Um, 
how well you work together with us, um, how can you integrate, uh, how open are you for critics, and uh, all these things, and then, yeah, and we are happy that we um, have so many applications. Um, a lot of people apply to do an internship in our studio, and they are from around the world, so uh, we are in a luxury situation that we can we can choose um, yeah, the ones we, we, we think are interesting uh, to work together. So it, they don't have to be really uh, graphic designers anymore. They, they can also be product designers, uh, artists, um, yeah, artists, whatever. So apply if you want to. <laughs> Great. I have a beer, yeah? Cool. Oh, That's a oh, cool, cool environment. <laughs> it's late here, so work is over, and uh, this is fun right now. Cool. Um, do you like Mar del Plata? I, uh, I mean, you know, like I always wanted to go to South America, but um, especially uh, when you're from Europe, you have a kind of a um, a picture of South America in your mind. You know, like. It's dangerous, and uh, you, you are you're unsure to go there. So I always wanted to go, but I never did it. But then I got this invitation to go to Argentina, and uh, after being in Argentina, I really fell in love with South America. So I made a tour: Ecuador, Peru, um, uh, um, Brazil, Ch uh, Chile, uh, Venezuela, and um, I really like it there. And Mar del Plata was kind of surreal because I arrived in um, Buenos Aires and then I had to take a, a bus, like a first class bus. They don't even exist in Germany, the first class buses. And then you have to go like five hours and then you arrive in this kind of um, empty um, ho um, holiday city where, because it's now spring, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's spring. So there are not so many people. And um, you couldn't go to the ocean because uh, you could go to the ocean, but not swimming because it was too cold. So somehow it was uh, surreal, but at the same time, it was a fantastic time because um, the conference. I mean, this is the biggest conference I've ever been. Um, I was blown away by the friendliness and the open heartness of the people. Um, I really, really enjoyed um, being there and. Um, and I remember my, my talk was, um, yeah, something I, I, I will ever remember, I will always remember, um, because of the energy that happens there. Um, it really touched me a lot, so I was happy. Uh, and I would, would love to be there again, but um, this time, yeah, I'm only here on good <laughs> way. <laughs> and you did not know. You had to come back. You had to come back. That's, that's yeah, it. for okay. sure. You did a lot of workshops here, didn't you, in Latin America? Yeah. I was Are you ever going to do that again? I would love to. I mean, um, you just have to invite me, and then I come. Um, yeah, I love workshops. I love work with people. I love share sharing and um, and workshop is a very good form. And like two days working together. Um, it's yeah. The, the results are always interesting, and um, and uh, so if you think um, uh, you want to do a workshop with me, why not just uh, co um, contact me and and uh, let's see if we can plan something. Um, I love that. I just came from. I was um, I was in. Hold on. How how can I share? Uh, okay. How can I share a building? Oh, here. Partido. Yeah, that one. You see that now? No, uh, you put. Uh, yes. You yeah. see that? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Hold on. I go through that. Beautiful. I go there. Balloon. Yeah, like, um, like I was in Moscow doing a workshop. That was great. And I just came from Glasgow. Um, well, it, uh, another workshop, and um, I'm gonna go back now to uh, here. Am I here again? Or? 
So somehow um, I'm um, in a nice situation that people invite me and I can travel the world and um, come together with young people and work together with them and I learn a lot by doing that and uh, it really inspires me and at the same time I see the world. Can't be better, I think. So I'm happy. <coughs> so, AK, do you do you guys uh, have a like a routine? Some some do you, do you guys work till one hour to to one hour in particular, or just you just are in the studio and if some work shows up, you do it, and if not, you stop. Yeah, we are like everyone is like an individual here, you know. Like we 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 want to <clears throat> we want to keep them uh, as individual as pos uh, as possible. So everyone is deciding by uh, themselves um, when they want to start to work and how long how long they work. So uh, there are some people who come in very early, and there are some people who come in later. We only have to find out. Um, the hours or the moments um, where we all can meet and, and exchange uh, information and stuff like this. So uh, some people work late, some people not. Um, we try to not work on the weekend, for example, um, only on the week, and we try to not be too long in the studio. But um, we don't really have like a like a system how we work. It's, it it really depends on on the job and it really depends on the mood of the of the people. People can decide on what job they want to work and on what jobs they don't want to work. So it's quite it's a quite open system, and um, we only have that kind of status meeting uh, once in a week where um, we exchange all. The informations we need, so everyone can go on uh, working. So everyone is telling what he's doing at the moment, and uh, so everyone knows where we are. And we have kind of a feedback round once, once in a yeah, probably once a day, where I go around um, together with the people and uh, we check the work the people are working on, and we give a feedback uh, to everyone. And and do, do you guys have a, like a place to to at least relax or rest in the studio, or you just go walk around and come back to the studio? Um, we have a huge uh, terrace outside, like a 100 square meter terrace. It's a roof terrace, so in summer everyone is outside. Um, then we have like this meeting point here in the middle where where we meet for for lunch. And some people go out for lunch, some people stay, some people cook. Um, but um, relaxing, I think everyone can decide when they want to relax. And, and especially during the day, um, everyone, or like me, I just take off for an hour or two and go for a walk or uh, do nothing and just listen to music. Um, so everyone can decide them for themselves when they want to relax. But we have some social things. Like um, as we are like a very close group, so a group of people, and we are kind of friends also together. Um, we do a lot of things together, like movie nights. Um, or we watch football together, but not everyone. You know, only the ones who are interested in they do that, and it just happens that we um, do a barbecue outside, but, um, or go for a drink, or, or go for uh, an exhibition opening. And uh, I think because we all moved together to Berlin, um, we are much closer than other other studios um, personal. Uh, so I think we have we, we have all kind of social situations in our studio, um, yeah. And that's good because we work a lot together. So I think it's also important to. Um, to be somehow, I mean, not you don't need to be a friend, but but you, um, it, it should be nice to work together, you know. So, so the people here are very important for me, and uh, I try to um, have a very good time to, when I'm together with them. Cool, that's awesome. Take a, a question: uh, Do you have enough time to work, have the works finished? Or sometimes you have to rush because 
Argentina, we are used to work rushing because we don't have enough time. Yeah, yeah, um, that's the way we work. I don't know how it's there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sometimes we also are under pressure, but I try to organize jobs in a way that um, we have enough time to develop something. Especially when when a new when a new client comes in, uh, the first thing that you have to figure out is budget, and the second thing is to figure out timing. But then you have to be honest to your client and say, okay, uh, budget is not good, or budget is okay, or timing is not good, or timing is okay. Um, a lot of clients expect uh, that you can design in a very short time uh, something great and. Um, I'm doing this for 20, uh, 20 years now, and I know that um, design needs time, and uh, it's a long process uh, we have to go through. So I'm very honest to my client. If when he says, um, uh, "Can we make it in a week?" I would tell him we ma we need four weeks, uh, or can we do it in a month? And I say it will be in a year. And they're always shocked, for sure, because uh, they already did their plannings, but. Um, but I know that things uh, need longer, and if you rush, things are not good, and then I'm not happy, and then your client is not happy, and no one is really happy. So um, I think it's kind of an um, you have to edu not educate your your client, but you have to um, discuss things with your client. And sometimes, um, uh, I mean, the, the the ones we work longer together, they know that already. Um, they they, they do a different um, planning, they kind of plan it differently. They give us more time to develop something, and that's that's very important for us. And um, but, but still, there are moments where uh, even we have to uh, rush a lot, and um, we're getting nervous, and uh, yeah, but it's, it's the way how you deal with your client, I think. It's the way you talk with your client, and... Um, I just don't accept something like uh, we have to do it until tomorrow. I just, yeah, don't want to accept that because I know it's not working. Okay. It can work, but often it doesn't work. So you have to talk to your to your clients too. <laughs> 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 you have to say, um, "Oh, I'm really sorry, my friend. I know you want something." Completely crazy <laughs> for me. I know you want to put uh, push your sales. I know you want to go online in a week, but I'm really sorry to tell you that we are going to need three months of work, two months of um, uh, feedback, and another three months to go online, or something like this. And you will get crazy, and you will say, "Oh my goodness!" But people who really want to work with you, they will accept that. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. You know, there are always people who who um, who will offer to make it in a week, but I'm sure it will not be as good as um, if we work on it for three months or something like this. And I just have learned, uh, you know, in my 20 year of business life, I just have learned that a lot of clients ask me, "Can you do it till tomorrow?" And then I'm I was like, "Okay, I'm a." Uh, I'm, uh, I have my own studio, so I have to do it. You know, like um, I'm a service person, and um, and I can do it. And uh, and often I found out that I sent a nice presentation. I worked over the night. I sent a nice uh, presentation to the client, and then I was waiting for a week to get a feedback. I mean, you know, like and 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 there you can see there's still a lot of time in between you can you can have and uh, yeah. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> you, you know, like, like for, example, for, for example, Bauhaus. You know Bauhaus? Yes. Yeah, yeah the, the famous um, German school. Or the bad. Yeah. When we started working on that, uh, like, two and a half years ago, um, no one really uh, said, okay, it will need two and a half years to, to, to be where we are right now. And, uh, and 
but, but that's how, how, how things um, go. I mean, uh, to develop a new identity for, for something big like this, um, it just needs time for research. It just needs time to, to come up with a, with a good concept. And then it, it really needs time to, um, uh, to try and figure out if this concept is really working on every application. And then it needs time to implement this concept into real. And it, it needs so much time. And, and people think, um, because we work with computers, we, we can we can do it in, in a week, you know. And I think good things need to grow slowly. And uh, and most of the clients found out uh, they are right, you know. Like um, it was good that we, we that we had this time. You know? Yeah. Um, I have some questions that some people. Uh, it's asking via YouTube. Yeah, there's YouTube. a guy asking. Yeah, there's a guy asking if you. What do you think about uh, the? How do you work with mobile? Uh, with mobile technology, like do you do you design often with uh, with mobile technology, or you just have it when this when the clients ask for it? I mean that. I mean, I'm, right. I'm socialized into print, you know, so uh, everything I learned was um, print, but for sure, for sure we, we, we do mobile applications, but this is not something we are specialized in, and, uh, and we, we designed the, the website for people, and, and right now we, we did a mobile application for um, a fashion designer uh, I'm not allowed to mention. Um, because he's um, uh, he's a big guy here, and uh, but I think there are other people who are much more specialized in doing things like this. And and if I really or if we really want to do something like this, I, I think we would join uh, with a perfect team who is able to work together with us. And, but what did you mean? I mean, for sure, you know, I have like this uh, little thing here, and. Uh, there's a pain program on that, and uh, so I can say, like, um, I, can, I can, for sure, I can work with that. I can even design graphic des uh, 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 record sleeves if I want to with that little machine here. So things are changing so quickly. Let's see what happens in two or three years, or one month, or tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know. Did did I answer this question? Did, did this? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. So. Yes. You have an opinion. Okay. <laughs> About that. You're more of a print person. Me personal. Yes. Me me personal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me personal. So, but <laughs> sorry, David, but uh, we we are talking about this, and you meet. Uh, different uh, techniques when you design. Maybe you, you use computer and paper, uh, collage, no? Everything. Everything, yeah. Yeah. I, and mean, I, I mean, I, le I learned to design by my hand. Uh, when I went to university, there was no computer. So I had to, um, to yeah, I'm, I was trained to do things by hand. And um, I'm still doing that, but uh, and a lot of people here in the studio are also doing things by hand. But this is not a must, and it's not like I mean, we love computers, we we love new technology, we love we just see it as tools, and um, and it's 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 super inspiring to use all these tools or to try out all these tools. So it's not it's not like yeah, uh, it's not like that that everyone has to do it. Uh, in the same way, and um, we are very open to, yeah, to do whatever we want to with whatever uh, comes to us. And for example, here, um, hold on, maybe I can show you. Yeah, like this that's a uh, sad thing about design universities nowadays. They're not analog anymore. No, they're not. No. Uh, can you see that? 
Yes, it's yeah, beautiful. It's awesome. I yeah. love it. Um, wow. It's a uh, yeah. Lulis, that's quite your style. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's um, a theater of shapes, you know. Yeah. So it's not it's perfect. Uh, it's it's handmade. It's with real persons behind. It's awesome. Really handmade. So how do you do the sketches before going to the studio and do that? Sorry, sorry again. I didn't the, the sketch, like, how's the process before you get into the studio to do that? Um, you like like several words. for that. There was more like a, like a like a digital sketch we had, and then we thought about how can we animate that in um, in reality, and then we started to build these little shapes and um, um, dressed ourselves in black suits and. Uh, and then it was more like there's uh, uh, no script. Uh, how to perform? It's more like um, a reaction on on uh, what other people are doing. So it's more spontaneous. It's more um, yeah, it's like making music, you know, without uh, a, per uh, a special script. And it's fun, you know, like like um, especially when you do it. Um, you come up with new ideas and you see what other people are doing, so you just interact with what the other people are doing. So it was a very small idea we had, and then uh, we said, okay, why not Yeah, try and figure out uh, what is possible with that. Great. Do you actually do music? Yeah, we have a band. But yes. I can't yeah, we had a band. Um, we had a band named um, named Horde, and uh, we had a test. Um, hold on. We had a test. Oops. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. We had a test. Um, no, we had our first concert two years ago in Barcelona, and but it's more a conceptual band. It's not a. It's not a band where, where we uh, try to figure out how, what kind of music we like and then start to uh, write that music and then start to record it and then start to sell it. It's, it was more like an idea um, we had thinking about, you know, we have 20 years of experience on branding um, musicians or bands and, uh, and I always wanted to have a band but uh, I'm just not, yeah, I'm just not. I don't have the skills to do that. I mean, I can sing, but you don't want to. I believe. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a, I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe. I believe I can, I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread your wings and fly away. You see, I'm. I'm just okay, we'll fun. we'll call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call me. <laughs> <Marciano. Well. laughs> so we thought, okay, what kind of band can we can we can we create? And and it's more an artistic concept. You know, we we created three uh, characters. Um, we designed three full body um, full body. Uh, hold on, I have it. I must have it somewhere here. Maybe I can show it to you. We designed like three um, costumes, and, uh, and the idea behind it is that that we create a moment, and it's all about this moment and to share this moment. So no one knows who's the band. No one knows who's playing. No one knows what kind of music uh, will be played, and um, we curate, we select um, musicians to become the band for one concert only for one time on one um, place in the world and it will never happen again in this way and uh, let's see if I find um, a presentation to show you I hope I have one.
Well, I think I... Okay, I, I figured out where it is and I will show it to you later, so... Uh, I have to... Um, I have to copy it from the other computer to, to this computer. Mm -hmm. So we have a band, yeah. But this band is not, is not, yeah. It's more, you know, it's more like, uh, it, it, it's, it's really, um, the first concert we gave was in Barcelona. We designed an exhibition around it. Um, there were like three musicians, jazz musicians from uh, Switzerland we have chosen. And the whole exhibition was about the band, like um, old artwork that tells the story where the band is coming from, um, like the costume designs and, and all these ideas we had. And then we had, on the other side of the exhibition, we had like um, art um, that was like uh, having a modern view on, 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 on this band. And, and so the band was playing in the, in the exhibition only for one time, and that was it. And, uh, and now we, we, we had a test um, a month or two months ago here in Berlin for the next concert, and that was completely different. That was like a, a sound visual experience, more like a performance. Uh, nothing really, it wasn't really music you could dance to or listen to. It was more like a, a sound visual collage. And um, hold on, maybe I can. Uh, Speech. Uh, yeah. yeah. See that. Okay. Um, it's a while. Yeah. <coughs> but uh, but who's playing in the band here? You? Someone is playing in the band. I am. You are. And Lulis has a band too. Okay. Yes, me too. Okay. Uh, I know your band too. Don't forget about my band. Okay, and who's doing the jazz? I'm a DJ. I'm a DJ. A dub, mu dub music. Bad music DJ. Yes. Oh, what what is bad? Dub is a Jamaican rhyme. is similar to reggae. But okay. It's more space and more echo. Yeah. Echo, yes. <laughs> smoke. <laughs> smoke, but this this beer is not for a smoker guy. No. This beer is for a smoker. This one here. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, three, there's, there's three guys with beers. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Three beers, yeah. Three, and then there's one shaved one, and then there's one, one girl. Take yeah. her. <laughs> Here okay. we have questions from Trimarchi's web. Okay. Uh, someone asked about uh, what did you eat today? What, what did, did I eat? You, yeah. What did I eat today? Yeah. And what is your favorite animal and a memory that you have uh, from, from your childhood? That's, that's okay. That's great. Okay. Um, that's a restaurant next to the next to the office, and I really love to go there. It's a very small restaurant, and it's named Mutti. That means um, that's a nice name for mother, like mom, mm. you know. Mutti. Okay. And and they do very traditional German food from southern Germany, and uh, the funny thing is, um, I mean you. We always used to say, like, uh, the best food is from your mom, you know? So w when you enter this restaurant, you think that um, that uh, someone like a, a mom is cooking there, you know? But there are two guys, two young guys who are doing it. And uh, they're great cooks. Um, and what I ate today was, um, oh, how, how can I translate this into English? I just had very good traditional Sasan German food. Yeah, that's it. I don't know that the, I don't know the English translation. They are so special. So um, so that's that was the first thing. Um, nothing else I ate to this morning uh, this day. I I wasn't that hungry. The second one is um, what was the second question? 
Your favorite uh, animal? Oh yeah, my favorite animal is a cat, for sure. Um, I mean, I had a cat for a long, long time, then he died with 18, and then um, I moved to Berlin, and now since four months, um, um, I have a new one. Uh, it's, a, it's a guy. He's two years old. His name is Loki. Um, he's, uh, he's a little bit evil. Um, but uh, I love cats. Cats have their own mind, and uh, he completely ignores me if he wants to, and uh, that's what I like. Even if I want to cuddle him, he says, fuck off, come on, um, give me food, or I don't know. So it's re he's really crazy. He's, he's waking me up like in the morning at 7.30, and usually I, 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 I wake up at 9 or 10 in the morning, and... Uh, he just sits next to your head, and then he starts to meow, you know, like meow. Yeah. And then he can't sleep anymore, and then you have to, you have to tell him stop it, and then he doesn't stop it, and then he jumps on your belly, and then he starts to, you know, yeah. And then no, I love cats. I really, really love cats. Um, because, yeah, and that's why I have one. And um, this. The, the thing from, from my childhood, um, do you want to have a good one or a bad one? <laughs> I mean, I have both, 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 both. <laughs> something, something good from my childhood. Mm. Uh, well, something good from my childhood. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I was a. I was a. Something funny. Okay. I was. Um, I was an athlete when I was young. You know, I did uh, gymnastics from three to seventeen, and it, uh, I, I was uh, really like professional. Like I did training every day. So um, when I was fifteen, uh, um, I had no. I had never. I drank alcohol, I never smoked a cigarette, uh, I did nothing, you know, like, so when I was 15, I was really kind of a virgin in a lot of things, and um, and we had a we had a competition with another team, and uh, we won that competition, so our trainer um, got us out uh, to, for an ice cream, and we went to this place, uh, um, where we usually went, and then uh, he said, okay, let's have a beer, because you won, so you can drink a beer. So I had my first beer uh, in my life, and after drinking half of the bottle, I, I, I stood up, and um, the, whole, um, <laughs> the whole ice shop is like with glass, and I wanted to walk out the door, but the door was closed, and it was out of glass, so I instantly walked um, into the glass door, and smashed it, and that was my first experience with alcohol. And what was the last experience with with alcohol? <laughs> Today, <laughs> he's coming no, over right, right now. No, right now. Yeah. No. Hanging out and drinking beer. No, it's funny because um, two of our guys here, uh, Jacob and Adley, uh, they just came back from holiday. And they said, um, we have to tell you something. You know, we were sitting together, uh, the whole team was sitting together, and then they were like, we have to say, uh, tell you something. And then they brought, it was in the middle of the day, and then they brought, like, champagne. And we were like, oh, my God, what's going on? Um, and then they uh, told us that they're going to marry next year. So, um, and we had a, yeah, we had a champagne, and... Uh, and that's the first um, married couple we're going to have here in the studio, I guess. So that was the last good one. <laughs> <laughs> but, it was a so, but it was a soft one. So, so I, I have this man thing open. If you, want to, if you want to see that, I can share it of with course. you. Yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Um. So.
Do you see it? Say it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, those are like early sketches of uh, how we started. You know, like to c create the characters and um, just to get closer to to what we wanted to do. And uh, those are like the like surface sketches and uh, to figure out what kind of materiality, um, like what, like what kind of feeling this band will have. Those are early sketches of the of the characters. I just go through that. Like objects that were related to the band, and then we decided, okay, uh, this could be like uh, the three characters of the band. Move forward, like make more and more sketches, and then we created like a hot logo, like the logo for the band itself, and then we started to uh, do fine art prints with that because um, uh, it's like itching. Uh, in a in a series of twenty prints, um, uh, we had to do that because um, when we got the printed uh, result, uh, it was like okay, now our idea uh, becomes alive. Before uh, alive, before it was just an idea. So we made these prints, and and then we started to um, trans uh, further this into real objects, into real costumes. That is one. This is one. This is one. You know, AK, I think we're just uh, seeing the first slide. Oh, you yeah. don't see? <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah? You, you yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, now we see it. Okay. I'll make it Amazing. Better. You see that? Yeah? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, I... Beautiful. Stuff like this. This is what I was talking about, you know, the... and you didn't see that. <laughs> How can I make it bigger? Nice logo. Amazing, amazing logo. Uh, yeah. And, and then we have uh, the part. <laughs> the print. And then we started to make them uh, real. Mm -hmm. This is open. And it's like you mix uh, different cultures and tribal costumes, no? Yes. You, like you mix modern and antique. Yeah. So this is the band. You see them, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah nice yeah. trio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a nice trio. And uh, hold on. How can I hide the? Uh, uh, I don't know. So this is a trio, and then we put them in real. And this is a mo ah, so you t so you don't know uh, so you don't see that or do you see that? No. Yeah, in the garage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you have to you have to talk what while you show us because if not your window is going to show tiny. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it tiny. So it doesn't show. Yeah. Well, I can't use that presentation for that. But then this is like material from the exhibition. Wow. You know, like this is a huge carpet, like a four meter carpet. Reused, no. This is like a blow up uh, logo, like mask with this mask. Very cool. Those are the masks. <laughs> we did prints and furniture for the exhibition, paintings. Uh, objects and sculptures, and then we put it in the exhibition. That's our band T-shirt here. <laughs> Quite a few lo fans. <laughs> yeah, for for sure you get a problem if you sell those. <laughs> so um, 
Yeah, this is uh, we are part of Metallica, Beatles, <laughs> Rolling Stones, and Corn, and many more. So we are just there. Like this. A whole yeah. universe. Yeah, it's a whole universe. And then there's a, like a little video of the concert, and then uh, like for. Um, there was Stefan Sackmeister and Marion Vanches was um, there for the opening. So it, it's amazing. You have a lot of done. Yeah, and from there, but from there we we did like uh, we did like um, the next concert, and uh, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can find something to show you. Um, hold on. That's all those. Not that easy here. Not But the thing is that uh, that the universe is changing all the time. So, so that was only for one day, the whole thing. And um, and uh, hot visuals here. Uh, performance. That was for example. Can you see that? Yeah. I think I have a better one. Hold on. Did you hear the sound? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay, hold on. Mm. Do you see that? Can you see that? See, no. Uh, we're, just we're just listening. Ladies and gentlemen. We s now, now, yes. No, no, now we see it. No.
So that's somehow like the, the band. That was like the tenth year now we had in our party, and it's like uh, if we if we go to if we go to uh, uh, I can show you like uh, we. The concert itself, like the band, and then you know, like the, that's the concept of that um, concert. You know, uh, how we translated the the sound into into visuals. It's like a like a system how we created for each uh, musician um, a visual world, and then we projected those. This is the visual world of the band. And um, we projected those on a 20 meter high wall. And yeah. It's great. It's very, very digital. Yeah, it's, it's really the opposite of the thing we did yeah. before. You know, like, uh, yeah. And that it's related with a question from someone here on Trimarchi's uh, wall that says um, if you think that piracy it's uh, affecting print and graphic design in music industry. Um, sorry, can I hear it? Can I hear it again? Yes, if piracy is affecting graphic design in music industry. Uh, I ask you uh, this right now because you, you are showing something new that you can do with design and music, avoiding of those, those, uh, those kind of uh, piracy things. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, you, know why, why, you know why I'm doing that is, is, first of all, you don't find any record of the band. You know, it's, there's nothing that you can... Um, it's all about it's it's all about creating something uh, like a like a sound and visual world, and we like to share this experience with other people. So we invite people to be part of like an event um, that will only happen once, and then it will never be again. And and I think we I think I think this uh, I had this idea to to do it only temporarily because. When I go to a concert, most of the stuff I have seen online already on YouTube or wherever, you know. So I go to a concert because I know what kind of music and what I know what, what kind of show um, there will be. It doesn't really surprise me anymore that kind of moment that I go somewhere and I'm really surprised by something uh, that um, I didn't expect. So I thought it's a good idea to to create like uh, these situations where that you design and you create and then you can share it with other people and that's all what these people uh, will get you know like the, only the experience to be part of that and um, that's that's for me very emotional to to um, uh, to um, enjoy something together with other people and know that this Enjoy uh, this joy will only be for today, you know, like like, and and then it will be for my memories and, uh, and piracy. I mean, piracy is is absolutely normal, and I um, I'm not against it and I'm not uh, for it, you know. Like that's what people do, and that's what uh, internet is um, making able uh, to do uh, easily, and um, uh, so. But but for me, it's like. I wanted to make something that is that is not happening. Maybe maybe once we will do a concert that that is only online, you know. 
so only like like this hangout so only people who are uh, online and and uh, part of a hangout situation and we will play for them or something like this so it's more like creating and using also uh, techniques and situation uh, technology to yeah um, to uh, create like a um, yeah a special moment a special moment that that um, that is beautiful and uh, and that's what we want to share with people so I think next concert we do on, uh, uh, on Google Plus. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah. Pa I mean, piracy for sure. It's it's it's. Uh, we don't really design m much music anymore. You know, like it's it's. We only do a few record sleeves uh, once in a year, and um, music died. You know, like no, no, it's not music that died, but. but um, that um, that the industry somehow died, you know, and um, and I remember, I mean, I'm I was art directing uh, Bukashet for seven years. I, I don't know if you know Bukashet, the band. Some may yeah, know I know it. it. Yeah, some may know that, and um, and you know, in the end, um, in the end, there was a, like, uh, can you design a digital cover? You know, like something that is not physical anymore. That something that is only to to be downloaded and something like this. That's how it is. You know, we can't stop the world, and that's okay. I think you know there there will be new things coming up, and um, and life is a changing um, or a floating uh, river. And uh, so I can be romantic and say that it was much better 20 years ago, but. No, I don't say that. I think it's great now. And it was great 20 years ago. For sure. I have a, another question uh, from a guy who was from, from the YouTube channel. He asks if, um, if you ever have, when you travel, you have a, like some kind of a little folder where you do sketches and you do drawings while you travel. Yes. Yeah. Classic Moleskine. Yeah. 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 That's class. Yeah. That's where I. We want to see it. No, no, no. That's where I. Like cool. Yeah. And do you write and draw, or you just write stuff? I I just write. Nice. I only write, and uh, yeah, and I always uh, look through it and see. Oh, that's. It. That was a good idea yeah. because you you forget so many things so quickly. Um, I think it's it's good to if you if you if you have an idea, just to write it down. Um, that that somehow uh, your copy your safety copy of of your idea and uh, and also you can make like uh, nice connections between different ideas you have written down. So something like this is. It's a very good classic tool. I mean, I tried it once digitally, but it doesn't really work for me. You know, so um, I want to touch it and I want to go through it like this. Uh, you know, like like let's go through this and in a in a mobile um, phone, it's not so sexy. Do you do you remember any idea <laughs> you had kept for a long time and? Finally, when you did it, it was great to see it coming to life. Yeah, yeah. Um, Looking for a dream. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, Another beer? No, I have, I have to go to the restroom. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I, I, I just... Um, leave the camera there, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay. with the hand, with the stop. Ah, mientras, <laughs> Hablemos mientras, en español mientras. Mientras. Bueno, quedan varias que preguntas. Meo, meo. Nos no, están no, mirando no, ahí. Mientras Chicos, se escuchan. Meo, están escuchando eh, bien por ahí. Ay, les, un mundo, todo por un mundo mejor. África, todos los continentes, América, aguante. Mientras África, se echa Manu. Un pis. Ya que meo no se puede decir, esperamos acá y escuchamos. Chicos, el lenguaje. 
Veo, está todo bien dicho. ¿Vos qué vas a hacer? ¿Pis, pipí? ¿Qué hiciste, Cucho, hoy? ¿Del número uno, del número dos? No, Ahí contá. Va, contá qué hiciste hoy. ¿En qué andas, Cucho? Contemos algo, dale. Van a mar... ¿Cuándo voy a dejar a Mar del Plata? Mañana al mediodía y estoy hasta acá. De los Ey. periodistas que mandan preguntas estúpidas a ver si viajo o no viajo. Yo voy mañana, también. Bien. Muy bien. Mañana se va a Brasil de gira... Te vamos a extrañar. Trae alfajores. Ok. Garochinhos. We back to English. Okay. Switch back to cassettes, please. English mode on. Uh, we, we criticize you while you were on, this, uh, on the restroom. <laughs> how many beers drink today? Did you have any great idea in the bathroom? Yes, I had. <laughs> to buy more beer in the in the packies. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. And why you drink bags? It's good for you, oh, or it's the more cheaper? <laughs> Kucha, you 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 always uh, talk about beers. No, I talk about whiskey and Fernet ah, and ladies. Okay. But it's okay. Oh, I want I want to read that. So you had you had a nice screen share there, didn't yeah. you, Ike? Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, those those are my when I opened my studio in uh, 1994. Um, I came up with some rules um, I wanted to follow. You know, like um, I wrote them down, and my rules were like: uh, first one was have fun, second was get paid, third was don't work with assholes, fourth was uh, only accept work that challenges you and you can build a, build up a relation to. Five, don't work for people but with people. Six, be honest to your client and yourself. Seven, keep on searching and exploring. Eight, quit when you don't have fun anymore. So somehow those... Um, That's cool, like a Bible. Yeah, it's like uh, like something I, you can follow, you know, like... like um, these, are my, these were my personal rules and uh, I'm still following them. I think if I don't like it anymore, what I'm doing, I will become... Uh, DJ, <laughs> no, um, a yoga trainer, no, um, I don't know, maybe I become a farmer, I don't know, something where I have fun, I guess. You don't nice. drink? Yes, I, I have a, a cup of water from Google. Oh! Very funny water, wow. <laughs> Is that water? Funny water. Yes, I have a, a nice idea. Yeah, I need a beer. Yeah. <laughs> what time is now in uh, in in Rio and in, in Rio is uh, seventeen. And Here Buenos is Aires. yeah six uh, five p.m. five p.m. quarter past five. Ah, okay. So it's like late afternoon. Yes. Questions. Ah, what time is there? Here it's 10. 10, oh. 10, 15. You have two dinner. Oh, no problem. Ah, only beer. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ah. No, I'm not, I'm not. No, no. It's the first beer I have. <laughs> All right. We have more questions. Okay. Someone want to ask something that here we have in the YouTube wall? Yeah. Can someone read? I don't have here. Yes. No. Grapes. Yeah. Grapes. This is Julio Cesar. Yeah. Yeah, you're a kind of Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Apples. Archimaldo. Yeah. 
how was the studio when you started? And now you have a lot of uh, equipment, but when you started, how was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, it was very bad, my question. Do you understand? Yes, I heard it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice malabares, chicos? Ah, malabares. I don't know. Cir circo. Okay. Cirque. Ah. Um, I mean, I started my studio at home, you know, so um, uh, I just took one room of my apartment and started to work there. And I only had uh, a computer and the printer and uh, a scanner, I guess. Um, and I remember that that computer cost me like 16,000 Deutschmarks. That's probably like uh, $13,000, you know? It was super expensive. And um, yeah, that's how, I, that's how I started with um, a table and a chair and a fax machine. That's uh, yeah. That's something very old. Uh, now we have um, video conferences already, but uh, at that time you you had to send uh, um, a, ta a fax to your client to tell him what you want to. I don't know for corrections or something like this. And yeah, like basic basic equipment what I had. And now. Yeah, now it's a, a three, 300, 400 square meter big um, office with two computers, no with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that the question? But the, the others, uh, your employers, use your, uh, your computer or you put the computer for you? Your employers. They you mind. My English is good. I know. Yeah, they, they, we all we all work on one computer, you know? Yes. Uh, oh, when yes. you go to the bathroom, another guy Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, three minutes time. Three minutes time to finish your article. <laughs> I'm gonna make a copy. Rush. Okay. So that's a wedding <laughs> a wedding road right to my computer. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, someone you have another question? <laughs> uh, yes, there's there's yeah. some girl asking. Uh, she wants to know what do you think about the Sagmeister and Walsh union? What? There was there, there has been some kind of merge, I think, between Sagmeister and Walsh. Is that right? Oh, he's sitting at the table now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, do you have an opinion the, about it? Like, <laughs> no. like about the opinion. <laughs> okay, so you he it's doesn't have any. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold, I I tell you the story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's like Sagmeister is walking alone through this, through this world, you know? So, so he was alone. And then there was a girl. We're like, ooh, well, la la. I'm Walsh. I'm Sackmeister. Why don't we join? Yeah, <coughs> they join. And they are naked. So they're not. Then they 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 work together. They run the studio together, and um, yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's great because she's very young, um, and Sackmeister Stefan is like my age, a bit older than I am, and I also work a lot with young people. I think that's a good, 
that keeps you very young, you know, if you work with young people. So I think it was a very good decision from him uh, to join and work together now with Walsh. And um, yeah, it, is, it inspires a lot, I think, to work with people. And um, but I don't know the I know I don't know the background. You know, I don't know why it happened or what kind of company they run or how they run it. Uh, I'm not into that. So. You should ask him personal if you are interested in his decisions. Um, I just got, yeah, I just got the same information like you got. Uh, I just saw a picture of him naked together with the women naked, uh, uh, saying we are now Sarkmaster Walsh. And that was my information I got. And uh, yeah. I knew that she was working in a studio for a long time now, for two years or something like this. So, um, yeah, why not? Maybe, um, maybe I, I join them, you know? Maybe um, there will be Sackmeister Walsh Eike. Naked? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> naked. <laughs> I have one last question. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Least but not last. Yeah, least but not last. <laughs> and you mentioned Eike. <laughs> you mentioned yoga before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what activities besides the obvious ones do you think designers should do to to get I don't know another skills? Oh well, I think I think living a having a having a um, now, mm. I think very important is to have a yeah to to live a life you know besides besides just designing you know I mean we try to tra att attend into just working and I think that's that's not good you know you should you should work for a couple of hours and after that you should enjoy your your life for a couple of hours um, Social life is very important, and uh, and it's not just about working. It's also about yeah, uh, growing on other things, you know. So go out, do um, whatever. But what is very good is traveling. I love to travel, you know. Like once in a year, I take off from work. I go for three or four uh, four weeks um, out of my country, and I don't use uh, any computers. I don't use. I don't take my my mobile. I don't read emails, and uh, I just go on on a long journey somewhere I've never been before, and um, that completely refills my batteries. I think leaving a country and and, and exploring a, another culture is is something that that. Um, it's really opening my mind, and uh, I love to meet you know, to meet people, uh, and I love to to learn from other cultures. So, for me personally, um, besides working um, and and something that really keeps me fresh is is traveling. So try to get out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great. We have to all go to visit AK to Berlin. Yeah, yeah, you can all come, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I I'll, I'll, I'll make your words. Yeah. I'll make your words. Yeah. We we have uh, a bathroom in our studio. <laughs> yeah. The, you know, I heard about it. I, that's okay. why I was trying to ask when you when I asked you guys if you had a place to rest or something. Yeah. You know, yeah, a, a little bird told me that you have a little mattress and you go just like yeah. uh, chilling yeah. there. Yeah, we have a real ba a bedroom in, in the studio with a nice bed and uh, with pillows and um, yeah. So It's a great idea. So if we have guests or if someone wants to rest or if someone works night, uh, they can stay there and sleep there. That's cool. Yeah. I, I had that for a long time. Uh, I, I think part of my studio was always, because I started my studio at home, so I was always going directly from work to bed. And when I rented my first studio, 
I said, okay, if I rent the studio now, uh, I would like to have a bedroom there. So uh, I kept that until here, and uh, we still have that. Yeah. And we ch and we change. Um, you know, if you, yeah, we change the pillow if you want to. And how many beds? No, it's it's only no, it's only it's only one, it's only one king size bed. So yeah, great. So. I think up to three or At four. least it's king size. Yeah. Up to, yeah, <laughs> <for sure. laughs> Maybe maybe there are, there's a couple who want to see. Yeah, a couple of designers, I imagine. Yeah. I, I have another question about uh, you you recommend travel and I, I love Berlin and I think a lot of uh, people who is related to design and music uh, would love to. And what, how Berlin influenced you in your in your work and in your life? Because it's not a um, common city. Yeah, yeah, Berlin is a special city, and uh, and I think one of the cities I really would like to uh, live and work. One of the ones I like to live and work in in the world, and. Um, it's kind of a playground, like a big playground, and it's still uh, changing a lot. Um, I mean, I grew up in Frankfurt, and that's where my studio started, and, um, and then we all together, the team, decided to go and move to Berlin, and it was a good decision to move here because um, everything was somehow new for us. Uh, we had to find our own apartments where we live, and we had to find new friends, and we had to find a place where we have our coffee and, and that's a lot of energy that comes up when you move to another place. And also Berlin is like um, it's a wonderful place for young people um, like everyone in my studio, uh, most of the people in my studio are international people so they meet people from their country somehow in the city because a lot of people are here uh, from around the world. It's very um, there's a great culture here. Um, there are like 20 or 30 concerts playing, bands playing every day. Uh, you can go clubbing if you want to. Um, you can go, um, there are great museums. There's a lot of cultural things that are going on here in the city. And it's a very, somehow it's a very young city because of the, the, because of the people. With a, with a strange history, you know, like it was divided by a wall. Um, and the wall just got off, and and now like we live together in in this huge city, and uh, it's it's still quite cheap to live here and to work here. Um, so, I mean, I'm not getting inspired by Berlin. You know, it's not like that. I walk around and think, wow, that's a new thing I I should do. Or I'm um, I'm not into into you know like like I need a place to get inspiration from. Uh, I, I get my inspiration from the people I'm working with, the, the people I'm, 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 I'm hanging out every day because um, they share somehow um, what they um, what they think and, and, and that inspires me, the conversation with those people. But it's great, I mean, I, if I want to, I could go out now um, and come back on Sunday if I want to, you know, like there's a, it's, it's an ongoing are you leaving? Oh, my, my, my friends are leaving. What? Oh, no. What? Have a good night, guys. Don't go. Let's join us. Let's join us. <laughs> where are you going? Home. OK. Where, where are they going? Okay. They're leaving to home. Ah, home. No, they go to Berghain. Berghain is a famous club here. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> With a very big sound system. Yeah. Oh yeah, very low. Yeah, I was there last year in Berlin. I yeah. like, but I, I have a lot of guys, and yeah. they don't like this. But it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the sound is good. <laughs> the sound is great. Yeah. Yes, I like a jam in the in the east side of the the wall. Yeah. This uh, reggae reggae discotheque or, or beach. I like this place. I've never been there. Ah, it's cool. 
That's cool. Yeah. Yes. Do you? Uh, sorry. Do you? Do you ah, do you drink a uh, club mate? Club mate, club mate. Yeah. I, I like. I, I like the original one more, you know. Like uh, when I was in Argentina, um, I drank you a lot of mate. mate. Yeah. And that's a like, like a ritual, you know, like sharing with other people, and, yeah. and I, you know, I like the whole thing with this, um, um, making it fresh, you know, just for for a sip. And um, and Club Marte is a very trendy drink here. In yes, Germany. very hipster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when I traveled to Berlin, everyone yeah. was drinking Club Marte. Yeah, and but, uh, but it's not Club like. It's not. It's not the real. I mean, it's a. It's a lemonade somehow. You know, it's a. It's a drink, and uh, I don't like it so much here. Okay. Club mate with vodka tastes good. Okay, I. I give it try. That. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Aki, for this hangout. I yeah. think is was very cool. Very, very interesting for all the. Three March fans. Next uh, in this weekend, uh, have another three March. If you want to say something for the people who go into this three March, you have your mic on and let's go. Okay. Okay. I mean, um, sure. I, I would love to go. Uh, I miss the people there. Um, uh, Soul and Saber and so on. All the people who who, who organize this. Big, big, great event, and and funny because um, uh, this time a good friend of mine is speaking uh, at Trimachi. It's Niklas Troxler. It's a Swiss uh, graphic designer. He's fantastic. He's a he's a great, great, great guy, and you're gonna love his presentation. Um, and uh, I would love to see him on this huge stage speaking to you guys. Uh, I would love to clap my hand after the presentation together with you. But I'm just here, so um, I'm going to do that um, in my mind. Um, I hope you're going to have, I, I, no, I don't hope, I know you're going to have a fantastic time there. It's, it's really, uh, it's real, I don't know how many days you're going to be there, but it's so great what they, these guys are doing, like the lectures, the workshop, the fair, the nightlife. It's so great there. Um, Pisco Sour um, is a killer. You drink pisco sour? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a killer. Sometimes. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can wake up on the beach uh, after the parties. And uh, I remember um, to go. Uh, I went to this um, gambling house. Um, yeah. Forget about that. I mean, you're gonna have you're gonna have a fantastic time there. The food is great. The girls are great. The boys are great. Ooh. <laughs> you know, it's. I think. I think it's a. It's a great experience um, that um, you will never forget and uh, enjoy it. I mean, good luck to be there. Thanks. Yeah. Me too. Thank you. We love you, Art. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Aki. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, okay. I come. Come back soon. Year. Come back come soon, next please. Year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Yes. Bye. bye. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. We love you. Cheers. 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 Make good, I can. Yeah. Next time when you are in Berlin, just drop me a message, okay? Yeah. Okay. We will. Okay. Yeah, we will. We will. We will we'll bring well. some club mate. Yes. With vodka. <laughs> yeah, and some reggae jams. Yes. That's good. it. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Karaoke Mauer Park. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Bye. Thank you, Aki. Thank you, Aki. Okay. Ciao, Aki. Bye. Good. See you. Yeah. Good. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, mundo. Ciao, mundo. Sí, cerramos acá este hangout. Lunes por un lado, David por el otro, Manu por el otro. Escucho. Nos vemos el fin de semana en Trimarchi. Los que no viajan, que se vayan a Brasil y conozcan lindas brasileras. Trimarchi, Mar del Plata. Tudo de Gao. Show de Bao. Tudo de Bao. 
Tu tu. Não mais bueno, camisinha. Bueno. Camisinha, por favor. Bueno, suerte, suerte en Marvel, chicos. Nos vemos la próxima. Aguante, nos vemos en Trimarchi. Chao. Gracias por todo. Chao, chao. Chao. Saludos a mi mamá.